Alrighty, hello again. So, um, now that we've got a working detector, it's time to assemble the case. So your kit should have come with six edge pieces like this, um, two fat ones, uh, two thinner ones with one tab on each side, two thinner ones with two, two tabs on each side. But um, before you peel the tape off, is there something to, to do? Um, because of the laser cutting, there's a little lip on the edges of these edge pieces. So included in the kit is a piece of sandpaper in an envelope. Take that, before you peel the tape off, um, just gently sand each side of the edge pieces and it will primarily sand these edges, which is where the lip is. And just a couple passes and that'll do it. Um, do it to both sides of the edges, um, and then when that's done, um, peel the tape off of all the pieces, um, and then you get down to the assembly, and then clean them as well, because there's going to be a lot of dust. So you can gently wash them with water and some mild dishwash detergent, um, otherwise the dust will make the... It'll show up on the case pretty strongly. Um, and then make sure to um, remove all of the little uh, pins that were in the holes. All right, so um, you've received a top and a bottom piece. This is the top, this is the bottom. Two side pieces, um, one labeled on, off data, one with a plus minus S, and a little bridge piece. So what we do is, after we've peeled the tape off, um, you take the bottom, um, I like to have the matte side on the bottom of the detector because then um, scratches don't show up as strongly. Um, then take the edge pieces um, that have one tab, just or just the tabs on the outside, and those are going to go closest to the bottom. Um, and we're going to just start with the front side, and then you're going to take one of the, the fatter ones um, and put that on top. Then flip it over. Um, take uh, two of the screws, the, your kit should have come with eight, um, stick those in, um, I guess I should have mentioned, uh, you're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver for this task, uh, preferably a finer point, um, because the, the, that fits in the head, um, so I'm using a precision screwdriver that I got uh, in a set, and I also use it, the flat one for the calibration. So, so screw the corners, align the other side, alright, so then we move on to the adhesion of the detector. So your kit came with a little uh, foam square, um, and then using a pair of scissors, um, cut that foam square into fourths. And then peel the backing off of all of the squares. Um, I tend to do them one at a time, though. Um, and then stick it underneath the resistors. Um, and then peel the backing off. Um, if you have tweezers, that makes this step a lot easier. Um, to peel the backing off. Uh, okay. And then apply two squares stacked on top of each other on each side. So there, you'll use all four squares. Okay, so then it'll look like that. Place that in 
the detector where the no tab is it's able to slide in it should just barely fit um, don't push down yet to adhere it um, take your two side pieces the side labeled S plus minus um, is going to go on the side with the pins make sure that the little cutout is on the front and the top and the, the writing is the laser the side that the writing is laser cut on is going to go on the inside towards the circuit board um, I do recommend that when you're handling the acrylic, either wash your hands really well or wear gloves because the fingerprints are going to show up really strongly, um, especially on the inside. You can wash the outside, the fingerprints off, but on the inside you can't, so just a, a, a tip. Um, then, uh, then yeah, this side has the on-off data. Um, data is going to go towards the front. Make sure the tab is on the front and the end up. Go around the switch hole. put it into the slot on the front and then put the bridge in between make sure the cables are above the bridge alright and then untangle the cables just if they are tangled uh, you put the speaker into the little tabs um, be mindful of the cable um, you don't want it over you don't want too many cables over the capacitor one is okay but not more than one um, then um, I tend to put the battery the, oh, with the um, battery snap at the bottom of the detector and then put it put the wire in the little cutout on the side of the bridge all right then um, go ahead and start stacking the other edge pieces remember the side with one tab on each side it goes on the bottom thick one goes in the middle then the tab with two or the edge with two tabs on each side goes on the top um, and then the edge with the two tabs goes on the top on the other side. Um, so make sure to uh, make sure that you've calibrated your de detector before you close it up, and make sure that you've decided whether or not you want to use the iPhone jumper if you have an iPhone or a couple. Of, some of the Android phones re require it as well, but um, not a big deal if you don't. You can always open it up and put it on, um, and then. We're going to put the top on. Make sure that the laser cut side, the rough side, is on the inside of the detector. You'll know because the writing will be backwards. So, if it's on wrong, um, go ahead and put it on. Be mindful of the cables. Make sure that they go inside. Um, and they're not in between the plastic. So, line it all up. And get four more screws. And close it up. Be sure not to over tighten the plastic because it will crack. Um, and it will pop a little bit as you're turning it in because these screws are actually cutting threads into the plastic as they're going in. So sometimes it can be pretty hard. But when you get towards the end, just be mindful not to over tighten it. You know, it should push everything together, but it shouldn't. You, you really don't need it that tight. Um, and then sometimes the wire will want to try to stick out. Um, so, and it should look flush. So if if, any, if 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 it bulges in the middle and you see the wire sticking out, push it back in and close it up. side that we haven't done yet. It's important. All right, fantastic. We have a completed detector. Let's just double check that it works. I've got one of my source disks here. Thorium one and yep, it works great. So I'll see you next video. Um, on next video is going to be how to make the data cables for the uh, smartphones and our uh, smartphone and connecting it to a, a computer or sound card. See you next video.